Hey, welcome to another AI Fuzz video. Callie is here with a, another video today. I'm going to be showing you something very cool using N8N. We're going to do a simple workflow in that again, which will allow you to create your own AI agent and have it automatically make calls, outbound calls, answer your calls, do whatever you would like uh, with a very simple tool and a very simple workflow. You're going to need 11 labs to make your agent and you're also going to need NAN to make the workflow and the last thing you're going to need is a Twilio account. Twilio is basically a way you can have uh, phone numbers and have it connect to 11 labs and different services and that make calls. So first we're going to go into 11 labs go into con conversational AI and it gives you a bunch of support agents. You have a support agent, mindfulness coach, uh, sales agent, video game character, and I think I will come up with a video game character. Can, these are pre, these are already pre, um, pre done models, pre done built agents, but you can also create an agent from scratch, but we're going to show you a video game character. So we're going to click on that and then hit create agent. And this is going to give you all the details about this agent, the language, their system prompt, which is basically their directive in life, what they need to do. English is their language. And a lot of different uh, things you can customize and choose. So ne next, we're going to go to phone numbers and we're going to import a phone number. Now this is where Twilio would come in. So I want you to go to twilio.com, set up an account, and uh, it would have to have some credits in. So it suggests putting maybe $10 credit, $10 worth of credits into Twilio, and that will allow you to use phone numbers from there to make outbound and inbound calls. Okay, we're gonna head over to Twilio, and like I said, Twilio, Twilio uh, you will need some credit in here to use the outbound and inbound call feature. 10 to $20 is what they're suggesting, but again, it won't work with a free trial. You will need to use uh, upgrade your plan to the pay trial for this to work. So I need to get phone numbers. So you wanna go to phone numbers, manage, and I will buy a number because I don't have a number at the moment. It's the very first time I'm using this. So the phone numbers are fairly inexpensive, a dollar fifteen each. And I will just grab a uh Cleveland, Wisconsin phone number. I'm just gonna buy that one. And also with Twilio, there you're gonna need to verify your identity in order to use it. So it's gonna ask you for a license, driver's license or something for you to identify, um, to, to, to verify your identity. Okay, I'm gonna buy this number. And I processed it, so I have that phone number. So now we're gonna go to manage, uh, back to manage. Go to active numbers, and I have this number. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna copy this number And then I'm going to go back to 11 labs and I'm going to import, import the, the number, number here from, from Twilio. Twilio and I will paste it right here. Then you give it a name. I'll just call this test. Callie, you need your Twilio account SID. So you want to go back to Twilio under account dashboard. And here's your SID. I'm gonna paste that in. And then it's gonna ask you for Twilio off your off token. I'm gonna go back and the off token is right here. And then I'm going to paste that there. So I'm gonna hit import. All right, now all you have to do now is then assign an agent. We're gonna go here and we're gonna do the video game character. It's saved, so now I'm gonna call on my phone this phone number and I should get this video game character.
I'm dialing on the phone. Greetings, traveler. How can I assist you on your quest? Well, what are you? Who are you? It does this actually work? Ah, a curious traveler. I am Callum, a wizard. All right, so it works. So we connected this phone number to the agent, which in, which is a video game character, and you can call it and have a conversation. Do whatever you'd like with that. That's easy, connecting Eleven Labs to Twilio and a support agent. All right, so now we're going to go to NADN, and we're going to start this workflow. So we're going to hit the Start node. We're going to look for a webhook. So uh, let's see here. This is the webhook here. Um, there's a test URL and a production URL. Production URL you want to use when you finally get it up and running. For now, we can use the test URL. We want to do change the method to post. And I want to, we're not using any authentication right now. So we're actually going to copy this uh, test URL. I'm going to go back into 11 Labs. Go to our video game character, and we're going to go down to where it says webhook, under security, sorry, create webhook. So we're going to paste that production, that test URL we got into there, and we're going to paste it one more time into there. We're going to create, and that's going to create a key for you that you can use later on. I'm not using it for this right now. So, if we go back into N8N, and I actually call the number, it'll record the interaction that I have with it. So I'm actually going to, where's my phone? I'm gonna test the workflow so it's waiting, and I wanna call the video game character dude again. Greetings, traveler. How can I assist you on your quest? Well, I'm looking for the nearest pet shop. Ah, a noble quest for companionship, is it? While Labzonia is filled with wondrous creatures. There. So it took that call as it made transcript. Here you have some important information here. Um the body, he had the conversation ID, the agent ID, greetings, traveler, that's what he said. And then while I'm looking for the nearest pet shop, and he says, ah, noble quest. So basically, it to transcribe the message for you, and everything is, is uh, done for you whenever you call. So next step would to be extending this node. All right, so there's a lot of good information here. Um, the transcript down below. So now I want to pull just the transcript of the call. So I want to bring in a code node. Right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to copy all this data. I'm going to go to Claude. And I have a prompt here telling Claude I'm an N8M. I need an N8M code node to process this data and build a transcript file of all user and agent messages. I need the output to be plain text as it will go into Google Sheets. And I just paste the data that I just copied. And then I will hit submit. And he's going to come up with a code for me that I can plug into N8N. Alright, it, it spit out the code for him. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to go back to N8N and then I'm going to paste it in this code node right here. And we are going to see if it works by hitting test step. Okay. And there it is. It spit out the transcript part. Slash N means um, a break, or means uh, the next person is speaking. All number, okay, and it shows client disconnected. All right, next we're going to take this data and put it into a Google Sheet. So I'll just look for Google Sheets. And we're going to choose a pen from row. All right, 
and then we're going to set this up with our Google Sheets account. All right, once I have, once you have all of those columns labeled, I rename this this uh, sheet to Call Dude. We're gonna go back into the Google Sheets. We're gonna choose Call Dude, which is the the document, and we're gonna choose Sheet One because that's what the sheet one is right here. Down here I only have one sheet. So you need you notice right away that it has all the values to send. So all you have to do is go back to your webhook and you're going to just line this up. So we're going to look for the timestamp. And it's right here. We'll look well, that's not in, that's the direction, I'm sorry. Well, the direction is actually going to be any bound right here. The two number is going to be right here, which is the agent number. From number is going to be my phone number. Transcript is going to be here, and the transcript summary is going to be right there. So you have all those informations. We're going to hit touch test step, and it should fill it in in our Google Sheet. It'll go back. And that's information is all in there. The phone number, the timestamp, the duration, and the summary. So you can just run this, right? So I'm going to call him once again, and I'm going to see if it automatically will go. So we're going to go here. That's the workflow, and I'm going to call my good old faithful video game character, Zorby, whatever his name is. Greetings, traveler. How can I assist you on your quest? Well, I need to know, I need some advice on whether or not I should pre I should uh, wear, have my partner wear protection on the second date. By the shimmering scales of the love dragon, that is quite the conundrum. I'm not exactly the best wizard to consult about matters of the heart, but I can offer some general advice. Tell me, brave traveler, have you faced many dragons before, or is this your first magical quest into the realm of romance? Knowing your experience might help me tailor my... All right, shut up. All right, he'd go on to log. So let's see if it went through. It's doing the code, and it's logging in the Google Sheet. So we should open up the Google Sheet, and it'll log that second call. You're just seeing advice, Callum, blah, blah, blah. So that worked. So guys, this is a very three-node workflow for you can set up your own agent, make phone calls to it, and have all the uh, information recorded into a Google Sheet. Use this for leads, for um, gathering customer, customer information, uh, doing anything else with that, and we're doing this all with Twilio and Eleven Labs and this simple workflow. So hopefully you can follow along to this workflow. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe to AI Fuzz. And uh, I'm Callie, and if you want me to expand on this, anyone more? Oh, I also wanted to give a big shout out to Bart. I'll link his channel in the description. He's the one that helped start uh, these workflows, and he's one of the first to come up with a workflow that actually works. So check him out in AI Fuzz. Bart, you're wow, you rock.